give a special thanks to Zuru for sending us these products for free. What's up, doll collectors, miniature collectors, and gift givers? Go ahead and break out the Christmas tree because it feels like Christmas. We are taking a look at Zuru 5 Surprise Mini Brands Series 2. My precious. Yo, I cannot tell you how excited I am for this. I love mini brands. I love mini brands. I love mini brands. Literally doing the cabbage patch behind the camera. I'm letting you know now, I cannot control the high pitch frequency of my voice due to my overwhelming excitement. You have been warned. On September 14th, 2020, season two is dropping in the US and in Canada with over 70 new minis to collect. And for this series, it's all about the gold. What are mini brands, you ask? Dear, poor dear, let me introduce you to a world of real shopping brands that fit in your hand. They are miniature collectibles of well-known brands that I like to use to stock the shelves of my dollhouse pantry. Many of them are a great size for a 1-6 scale dollhouse, like this feta cheese here and these bagel bites and these Lunchables. And some of the larger ones, like this Jello and this ground cinnamon, are better suited for our larger dolls, like American Girls and Smart Dolls. And today we are opening a whole case. Let the unboxing begin! We are opening 24 mini brands today. Ooh, it rattles. For this series, they are gold. You can see that the plastic is a gold metallic color and the wrapper has like a gold glitter print. It does say series two on the packaging. Pull the perforated zipper. Remove the outer plastic. Remove the inner plastic. Remove this little piece here. And it opens like an orange. We have five wedges where we can peel back the paper to see the first surprise, which is Lowry's Seasoned Salt, economy size. Look at these details. It says no MSG added. Then on the back, you have nutrition facts. And all of these little tiny words are real words. You can actually read it. That is awesome. This is so cute, but it is definitely too large for our one six scale dollhouse. Definitely smart doll size. We still have four more to go. Really excited because that is definitely a new mini brand. I've never seen that one before. Here we have Sweet Relish. So stinking cute because I've seen stuff like this in the grocery store and now we can put it in our mini grocery stores. Love it. We can even see words on the back. You can read them. There is a list of ingredients, y'all. Behind door number three, we have the collector's guide and craft caramels or caramels. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's go ahead and start separating the different sizes. The stuff that's for our 24 inch dolls and the stuff that's for our 12 inch dolls. So far, the 12 inch dolls have two items. Here is that oh so important collector's guide. We have super rare, gold, rare, glow in the dark. Wait a minute, is that Almond Breeze? Yay, vegans! Rare, metallic, common. Those pickles look amazing. There are a lot under common. Is that mac and cheese unicorns? On the back, the common list continues. And there is a common Almond Breeze, yay! What? They have Stubbs barbecue sauce? <gasps> that is too much. The pink ones are collector's case exclusives. And at the bottom, you can see some fun extras like paper bags, carts, and baskets. Ooh, cash registers? Hmm, that's cool. And some shelving. 
So far, all of my items have been common, which is fine with me because we're using these in our dollhouse on the shelves. Can't wait to see the next one. This is a bottle of Red Hot Frank's Red Hot. It is kind of large, but I just love the way this looks. So we're gonna say it's just like economy size. And our last one for our first one is Laughing Cow Cheese Dippers. Original classic breadsticks. I didn't get any baskets or bags, so I guess those are sporadic. On to the next one. We know the drill by now. Remove the plastic, open it up, and find the surprises. Really? A double? Normally I am cool with doubles when it comes to mini brands, but this one is not my preferred scale. So I'm good on the seasoned salt, y'all. On the plus side, our Smart Dolls will have lots of seasoned salt. And right here, we have a collector's guide and Heinz 57. Add zest to chicken, steak, and pork. It says it right here. So I'm noticing that the scale is all over the place. Here is the Frank's Red Hot next to the Heinz 57. So yeah, there's a little bit of a difference in height. And then you have the gigantic seasoned salt. So yeah. Country Time Lemonade. This is stinking adorable. Okay, this is so cute. Super little. It's a tiny bit big for our 1-6 scale, but I'm totally going to use it because it's not too big that we can't. Let's open the largest one to see if we got some carts. No, we do not have a cart. We have more sweet relish. It's cool. We can always use more relish for those doll barbecues. Oh man. All right, here we go. This is a box of pure vanilla extract. That is adorable. This is made out of a pretty thick cardstock or a paperboard, and it feels like maybe there's foam or something on the inside. This is definitely smart doll size, but I think I'm still gonna use it in our 1-6 scale dioramas. Maybe we can just put it on the shelf in the background for a little extra detail. Number three. Come on, I need some pickles and some almond milk. Let's see, will we find almond milk? No, we found cheese. It's a tiny little bag of Kraft Sharp Cheddar. Absolutely perfectly sized for a 1-6 scale dollhouse. Our second surprise is difficult to open, but we have crystal light. <laughs> That's cute. It is made out of cardstock, so be careful not to crush it. And this is another seasoned salt. Seriously, how much salt do we need? As long as this is not seasoned salt, I will be fine. Chicken stock, okay. Not my almond milk, but it's still cute. This is a cardstock box. It is unsalted. And on the top, we have a printed image of the opening. It looks like a cap, and I wish that was 3D. So it's printed, which is cool, but you know, a cap would have been nice. And Old Bay. Seasoning for seafood, poultry, salads, and meats. So, you know, I'm not a cook, like, at all. But I can totally appreciate seasonings and miniature. Number four. Let's take a moment to update the collector's guide with all of our finds so far. And I'm gonna take a quick look to see what I am hoping to get. Totally need that almond milk, the coffee, the pickles, just because I am really interested in seeing how they made it and those flaxseed crackers. Hopefully we will find one of those in here. Oh, <gasps> yes, yay! We just found the Almond Breeze milk. It is absolutely perfect for the dolls. It's chocolate flavored. What? 
I did not notice on the collector's guide that it said chocolate. I want a regular, like a plain, original. No sugar added. It's okay, it's okay. It's still cute. All right, maybe this is the coffee. Hoping for coffee. It's definitely not coffee. It's another Heinz 57. I'm cool with that. It's a great size. Let's jump right to the large one. Inside we find more chicken stock. It's a double, but that's okay because our dolls will be able to make lots of chicken soup. Opening mini brands is so much fun. We have Cool Whip. That is so adorable. It's a little tub of Cool Whip. You can see the little raspberries on the front. Totally one six scale. And this is Borsan cheese, garlic and herbs. I'm not a cheese person, so I've never heard of this brand. I had to Google the commercial to even see how to pronounce it, but there you go. It's a little tiny box. It is a heavyweight cardstock, and it has some details printed on the back. Number five, we are starting our second row. Wow, I can't believe we've already opened five and we haven't gotten like any shopping bags or carts or baskets yet, but we did get another Old Bay seasoning. I'm going right to the large one. Hopefully we'll get like a basket. Nope, we get bagel bites. Wait, and there's two in there. I think that was a mistake, but it's a very serendipitous one. These are Bagel Bites pizza snacks. They are on cardstock and there's something inside like a hard foam. On the back, we have nutrition facts and pictures. I am loving all of these details. And here we have another Cool Whip. This is the collector's guide and shake and bake original pork Velveeta okay we got a little box of Velveeta original shells and cheese made with real cheese and real milk wouldn't it be fun to make mini brands commercials with dolls when I've been crafting all day there's nothing better than mini brands Velveeta shells and cheese now with zero calories this product is not real food. Don't eat it. Number six, five more chances to find pickles. What do we have here? Not pickles. McCormick Organic Paprika. I like that it's organic. This is the perfect size for our smart dolls. I think our smart dolls are going to get all the seasonings because they're pretty large. Right here we have more sharp cheddar and Lunchables pizza with pepperoni. You can even see the little pepperoni in the top corner on the back. It does look like the little disposable cases that it comes with. That is so cool. In the largest wedge, we have a sparkly one. The rare metallic almond nut thins. It is really sparkly all the way around. And this is our first rare find. So that's awesome. In our last one, we have another Old Bay seasoning. That makes three. Number seven, I am totally gonna need new shelves for all of these mini brands. Another relish, yay! We keep getting pickles, but not the right ones. A bag of french fries. This is adorable. It is a little plastic bag. You can feel there's like foam or something inside. This is gonna look great in the dollhouse. Okay, getting excited again. Not that I wasn't excited before, but you know, still looking for those pickles. And instead we have crushed red pepper. I guess our smart dolls are gonna be cooks cause they're getting all the seasonings. Here we have Oscar Mayer, naturally hardwood smoked bacon and oh, a gold one. Super rare French's 
yellow mustard. This is actually kind of large, but I guess it's a good size for the sweet relish. And it's pretty awesome that we found a super rare mini brand. Number eight. All right, so we totally need to top that gold one right now. Ah, I cannot open this. <laughs> there we go. Is that, is that what I think it is? Coffee. Maxwell House Original Roast. That is cute. Check. Can't wait to see the next one, which is another red pepper. Okay, we're gonna move on and open the next one, which is more bacon. I guess someone likes bacon. And here we have, <laughs> why are these so difficult <laughs> to peel open? Ah, got it. Here we have blue diamond almonds smokehouse. The lid does not come off, but you know, I'm okay with that. And in the last one we have J-E-L-L-O, Jello. This is pretty large, so it's definitely going to the smart dolls. Hmm, seasoned Jello. How would that taste? There's a reason I don't cook, y'all. Cool Whip and Relish. Sounds like a winner to me. Just kidding, I would not do that. It's Cool Whip and Mustard, man. Number nine. I would love to see one of those baskets at some point. I guess it's not right now though because we're totally getting sweet relish. And here we have, this is a new one. Stubbs Original Legendary Barbecue Sauce. This is really, really cute. <laughs> love it. Relish barbecue sauce. Sounds like a cookout to me. Here we have more pure vanilla. Sorry, pure vanilla. Give me some points for trying to pronounce things correctly. All right, here we have more caramels or caramels. And that looks like Cool Whip. More Cool Whip for our relish. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just playing, really. That's, that sounds interesting, but no. Number 10, and still no pickles. Come on. Uh, hopefully we find the pickles soon. This is more Velveeta, okay. And here we have another seasoned salt. That makes four. That makes four. <laughs> Keep smiling. And here we have stubs. Okay. And this is bagel bites. Really? Everything in this whole one we've already got? Here we have something new. No, it's shake and bake. Okay. You know, two of each item is actually perfect. Cause then it'll look really great on the shelves. You hear that seasoned salt? Just two. Number 11. So far, I am really enjoying this season. What? Doubles again? Two rare metallic bagel bites. Yeah! Like I said before, I don't know if that's on purpose, but I'll take it. Here we have another Country Time Lemonade, pink lemonade. And yay, we got some Miracle Whip. This is super cute. I like the little blue top and this actually does look like, you know, Miracle Whip. It's awesome. This is, what's that? What? McCormick Original Taco Seasoning Mix. That is so cute. And this is more cheese. Number 12, we are halfway through. 
That is definitely bittersweet. I love opening them, but I don't want to be halfway through. I want more mini brands. Here's a collector's guide and another bottle of Heinz 57 sauce. That makes three bottles of Heinz 57. Here is another J-E-L-L-O, Jello. I can't say Jello without spelling it. Crazy, right? Come on, we need some new ones. This is more chicken stock for that miniature soup. And this <laughs> is more almonds, yay! We have lightly salted, low sodium almonds here. For this one, the lid is light blue. It's gonna look great on a shelf, y'all. It's gonna look great. And this is, ooh, it's a new one. Another seasoning, organic thyme. We're gonna need a spice rack. So let's make one. I'm using jumbo craft sticks, coffee stirs, and glue. Start by cutting the ends off the jumbo craft sticks. I have two that are five and a quarter inches long and five that are four inches long. Take two coffee stirrers and cut them to four inches as well. We're gonna use the long ones for the sides and two of the shorter ones for the top and bottom. I glue the shorter ones in between the longer ones to make a rectangle. Find the center, which is a little over two and a half inches, and glue a jumbo craft stick going across. Add another one at the bottom, then glue another one at the center standing up to make two shelves. Take one of the seasonings, and we're gonna place it on the shelf and see if we put the coffee stir on top, will there be enough room to take it in and out? And the answer is no! Wow. Okay, so we need to come up with a second plan. Maybe a large paper clip will work. I unfold the paper clip, do my best to straighten it out, bend the ends, making sure the center is a little less than four inches, so it fits between the sides. Trim the ends so they're no more than an inch long. Glue them inside, going all the way across. Since we already cut those coffee stirs, I'm just gonna glue them across the top and underneath the middle shelf. Fill the shelves with our mini brands, seasonings and spices to make a miniature spice rack to display our collection. Now back to the unboxing. Number 13. They do have some salad dressings on the collector's guide. I would like to see what those look like. What's this? Feta cheese. Whoa, that is too adorable. Totally going in the dollhouse. But I still want my pickles. Instead I get Philadelphia cream cheese. It is made out of a thick cardstock and it's probably a little large for a 1-6 scale, but knowing me, I'm just gonna do it anyway. That was a new one, so we get to check it off the list. I just saw there's ketchup. I want ketchup too. Pickles or ketchup. Pickles, ketchup, Zatarans. I got a little Creole in my background, so red beans and rice totally works for me. There are stovetop instructions on the back. Wow. What is this? Sounds like there's a lot of things in there. Okay, let's open this up. We have a basket! And you know what? I had almost given up on giving up getting a basket. I was like, that's it's just not gonna happen. It's just not meant for me to have a basket. But here we go! We got one! Ooh, and there's instructions. Take the one with the wheels and add the sides. Uh, that looks about right. Nope, this side. There we go. Add the other side. Everything just snaps into place. That's nice. Then the front, then the bottom. Add the handle. 
and another handle in front. Add a sticker and you're done. Happy crafting! It's adorable. It's super small. It has little wheels. The basket is an inch and three quarters tall, so it's pretty small. It can hold a few items. We got some Miracle Whip, some bacon, Lunchables. Yeah, okay, it fits. Trying to find some small flat items and some taco mix. Y'all, we are cooking tonight. One more wedge to open. And that looks like A1 steak sauce? Correction, A1 original sauce. I think I've been saying it wrong my whole life. No way. There is a Texas style burger recipe on the back. <laughs> I absolutely love this. Number 14, who's excited for this? I know I am. We have another almond breeze. Chocolate. And this is, looks like bacon. Almond milk and bacon. What could you make with that? With a side of almonds, low sodium. And we're gonna sprinkle whatever this is on top. Philadelphia cream cheese, mmm, gourmet cooking. And we have relish for dessert. And that makes five, just in case you were keeping count. We like doubles. Remember Toya, we like doubles when they're mini brands. Number 15, we are getting close to 24. Here is our collector's guide. I think that is a salad dressing. Rich and Tangy Craft, Thousand Island. This is perfectly sized. Absolutely perfect. Another chicken stock. That makes four. One of those little basket carts. I think this is the instructions. Is it, is it, is it? Yes, it is. And then we have some stickers. Okay, so we're just gonna follow these really fast and put it together. Bam! This is super tiny. The basket can be removed and it's probably a good size for like a four inch doll. We can put some bagel bites in there and maybe some caramels or caramels and some shake and bake. Look at that, it all fits. I wonder what this is. We have another seasoning. Good thing we have a spice rack. And is that stove top? We're making stove top tonight. Stove top stuffing mix for chicken with recipes on the back. Number 16. We've seen a lot of different ones so far. Which one has been your favorite? Organic thyme? Or what about Stubbs barbecue sauce? Or, ooh, this looks like a counter. It is, it's like the ones that you get with the mini mart. We can just follow the instructions, add some stickers to make a mini checkout counter. It's kind of cool how we can use these to expand the Mini Mart playset. We have two more wedges to open on this one. This looks like another feta cheese. And this is more cheese. Number 17. There is a lot of cheese in this series. And we have more bagel bites. Let's see, we're looking for those pickles though. I want the pickles. We have another Stubbs barbecue sauce. Pickles, pickles, pickles. More cheese, okay. Pickles, pickles, pickles. And that is not pickles. Okay, we have one more wedge here. No, yep, one more. And 
almonds. All right, no pickles yet. Number 18, I'm getting a little nervous, just a little that we may not find those pickles. This is Cool Whip. This is, ooh, that's a new one. Bullseye Original Barbecue Sauce. Absolute perfect size for a one six scale dollhouse. Cool information on the back. And uh, yeah, it's perfect. You know what goes really good with barbecue sauce? Pickles. And this is not pickles. We have a second little pool basket and more french fries. I actually really like these, so I'm okay with this. And our last one is more Philadelphia cream cheese. I just need three more to finish the first block of common items on the checklist. Tomato sauce, pickles, and ketchup. Lucky number 19. Ketchup, ketchup? No, that is not ketchup. That's another cart basket. It is pretty cool how they can fit all of this into one of those wedges. Now show me the ketchup. We just found chicken stock, more thyme, and ooh, dressing. Craft zesty Italian dressing. Perfect size for the one six scale. Here's a look at the back. And this is more Philadelphia cream cheese. 20. It's crazy how many brands takes common household items and turns them into treasure because they're miniature. And right now I'm still looking for my pickles and I got more shake and bake, shake and bake. I just want some stinking pickles. All right, we have almonds. I am totally controlling myself now. We've calmed down. Chocolate almond breeze. It's really cool that this isn't really hard to find. And we have another little thing we can build. This looks like the little candy shelf that you can get with the mini mart. Yep, that's exactly what it is. It even has little wheels on the bottom so it can roll. I don't see a ton of candy in this series, but we do have those caramels. And our last surprise is another container of Miracle Whip. 21. We are getting so close to the end. Here we have another counter. Well, okay. We'll put that together in a minute. Then we have more vanilla extract. It'll look good on a shelf. And then, ooh, a new product. Here's one we haven't had before. Organic chunky garlic. Stir in paste. Fresh for weeks. This is a cute little tube. We have a green cap. It does not come off. And you can see some fun details on the back. We also got more organic thyme. And that looks like another Stubbs barbecue sauce. 22. Final three. First, we have more golden crinkles french fries. And then, uh, sometimes they're difficult to open. We have another cheese dippers. Okay. And this looks like barbecue sauce. Yep, bullseye barbecue sauce. And another Lunchable. Yay, I actually really like these because they're like the perfect size for our dollhouse. And in the last one, we have... Come on! <laughs> I want my mini brand. There we go. Last one, we have... <gasps> no! My pickles! Clausen Kosher Deal Spears. The pickles are on a printed sticker that goes around the jar, but it still looks really cool. When we look underneath, we see that it's empty. I like the green lid, and they are only five calories. 
This will make a large jar of pickles for our dolls. 23. Now give us some tomato sauce and ketchup and we will be good to go. This is a new one. French's crispy fried onions. Original made with real onions. We have nutrition facts on the side and some recipes on the back. I love when we find new ones. What is this? Ooh, paper bags! Yay! Two mini brands paper bags that are large enough to hold a lot of stuff. Let's throw some crispy onions in there. Maybe some fries. That sounds about right. Fries and onions, that seems like it goes because potatoes and onions. How about some taco seasoning? You can add some flavor. Then a little bit of uh, sharp cheddar. Y'all, I am straight cooking now. And top it off with some Stubbs barbecue sauce. Oh man, does it all fit? It does, yeah. I like the bags and they can be used with our one six scale dolls. That's pretty cool. This is some more of that chunky garlic paste. And this is more cheese dippers from the Laughing Cow. And ooh, we got cinnamon. This is a spice we have not opened today, so yay. The container is brown. We have a red lid and there's a little bit of information on the side. That's pretty cool. Looks like we found all of the seasonings. Say it ain't so. We are down to our very last one. Number 24. Oh, I wanted some ketchup. I found the pickles, which I'm very happy with, but come on, give me some ketchup. Really? Seasoned salt, really? Okay. We're gonna go to the next one. And we have more caramels. Okay, okay, okay. This is getting super nerve wracking here. And <gasps> tomato sauce. I did want the tomato sauce. This is perfect. It has a gold colored cap. It's tomato and basil. If you turn to the back, you can see the nutrition facts and the ingredients. And there's even the little, engraving on the glass. I believe that says Mason, but I'm not about to pull back that sticker to find out. That is so cool. Oh, and you have the ounces over here on the side. Can you see that? That is so cool. I love all the detail. This is amazing. And it's totally a great size for the dollhouse. Just two left. And I think my chances of finding the ketchup are now pretty slim. This looks like another one of the candy counter shelves. Why did I call this a candy counter? It's not a candy counter. It's just like a little candy display shelf with wheels. And our very last one, very last one is, is another new one. Kool-Aid with 35% less sugar than leading regular sodas. I loved the Kool-Aid commercials growing up. I was never allowed to have Kool-Aid, but I appreciated the commercials. On the back, there are recipes at the top and some directions. Completing our Zuru 5 Surprise Mini Brands Series 2 collection. We opened a whole case of mini brands. We found a super rare gold mustard and a rare metallic nut thins. Now here are my pros and cons. These are incredibly detailed miniatures. They look just like the real products. Series one was $5.99 per ball, and that's not bad. You get five surprises inside, and they were available at major retailers like Target. My only con is the scale. Now, if you are just here for the miniatures, this totally won't matter to you. And keep in mind, this is just my personal opinion. 
but I would have loved to have seen them all on the same scale. When I placed the seasonings next to the chicken stock, they're about the same height. I would have liked for the seasonings to have been smaller, so the entire collection was on the same scale. But that's just because I like using mini brands with my dolls. Overall, Series 2 is a lot of fun, and I'm happy to see some non-dairy options. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at Zero 5 Surprise Mini Brands Series 2. We can expect for these to start hitting the stores September 14th across the U.S. and Canada. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye!